Okay, so this week is going to be a quick tutorial. I had a long week and some deadlines and my birthday a couple of days ago and I couldn't do a longer rigging tutorial as I planned. So I'm just going to show you guys how I like to set up my skeleton for rigging humanoids. I like to do the human IK skeleton, so I come over here, click on animation, skeleton, human IK, then create skeleton. And this will create a human IK skeleton for me. Okay, this is a little bit small, so I'm gonna put like 2.5 maybe. Almost. 5 now, and that's too much. 0 0.8 on scale, yeah. That's a better scale. The human IK skeleton has some easier things here that you can use. So like, I don't want all these fingers because my character is pretty much using a mitten. So I'll take the middle finger out and the ring finger out. So I just have two fingers, one for each side of the mitten. And I could uh, change the finger joint count on those and other things. I can change my number of uh, spines, but I think that's all right for now. So uh, what I like to do is, first off, after I got my skeleton, I'll add a new joint over here, because if you watch the laggy, Tutorial, you know I want one more joint for the foot here. Come over here, animation, you can join, and now I have my new toe joint. Uh, another thing, uh, actually want to delete half of the skeleton after I change my settings over here, the human IK, because I'm gonna mirror it to the other side. That's what happened there. I was looking at the other foot. Okay. So there are two ways of moving. One, you move the whole joint. The other is if you want to move only one joint. You can with W pressed and you click left click, you're going to preserve child transform. So you can move a joint but keep the other joints in place. The other if the other way if I didn't have this selected, I would move a joint and my other joints under it would move too. That's not what I wanted right now. So with that preserved child transform, I'm gonna start adjusting some things here. Okay, this, this kind of over here. Oh, my knee should be more down. You should put your knee where you can find uh, the topology for it, and my topology for my knee is around here, for the deformation. Yeah, this preserved child transform helps a lot when positioning joints. Doing this without that would be annoying. For some things you don't want that though, because like right here I want to move the neck to fit. Right here I want to move the rest to fit. The clavicle I usually position more towards the center of the body. Like, I want the clavicle to move the whole shoulder thing. Like, move your shoulder around, you see where that movement is originating from. Okay. The shoulder, I like to position it in the middle, around the middle of the, of the arm there. Not gonna use rotation, just translation for this. I'm actually gonna delete this and just copy over this finger. Yeah, it's already there, it already got the shape I want, so why the hell not? So yeah. This here will be my neck. 
this here will be my head joint like position it around this area over here close to the ear so it will pivot from the center kind of the head you can if you want to add another joint just so you can better see where the head joint is pointing it's not really necessary and yeah now i just have to mirror this one uh, not the joint tool it's a skeleton mirror joint and this one and now i have my skeleton ready to rig but unfortunately rigging we will have to wait till next week actually i might want to better position this one yeah that seems to be better so I'm sorry for the quick tutorial this week we'll pick this up next week and continue rigging our character thanks for watching